right, today is the big day. I'm going to Chattanooga skydiving to do what? Yeah, you guessed it, skydive. So let's get into it. We've arrived. You excited? Did you see this sketchy neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> That's all she has to say. <laughs> here to the skydiving place uh, and I'm in the bathroom right now and it looks a little sketchy look okay so here's the the sink yep there's the sink and there's me and the mirror and uh, here's the shower don't know why there's a shower in here but I guess if uh, you poop yourself when you skydive you can wash off and uh, yeah there's a toilet and there's that stuff yeah it looks pretty sketchy in here but uh I'm doing a voiceover right now because someone's outside waiting for the bathroom. So I'm gonna leave now. Bye. And this is me signing my life away so I can't sue them if I die. So this guy's a parachute rigger. Basically, he's licensed to pack, maintain, and repair parachutes. So his job's kind of a big deal. So how important is it how you fold them? Uh, very important. Whatever you do, don't feed the Packers. All right, we're waiting here. The first group just went up and they're going 14,000 feet and then my group's gonna be going 10,000 feet. So I'm not jumping as high, but it's still 30 seconds of free fall, so we'll have to wait here for them to finish and then we're gonna jump. But until then, I'm gonna lace my shoes so that they don't fall off. This is my instructor, Bo. He's explaining the safety procedures and process of taking my first jump. Yep. All right, so we just got suited up in my harness. It's gonna be a few minutes and then we're gonna go in the plane. And I guess I'll see you when we're back on the ground. life you have always wanted to do? What is it that you want out of this life? What dreams are you pursuing? What goals are you striving for? What have you looked at in time and said, it wasn't possible, it can't be done. I don't have the money, the education, the looks, the whatever, because it doesn't matter. They're all just excuses. Don't allow fear to hold you back from the life you are really meant to live. Because sometimes the best things in life are on the other side of your maximum fear. So give the middle finger to fear, stop making excuses, and start taking responsibility for your life. You are the only one holding yourself back from achieving your dreams. No one else can pursue your dreams for you. God didn't just give you dreams for sleep. He gave you dreams so you could fly. So think about what you want to do in this life. And at the end of the day, just jump. <laughs> totally great time. What was your favorite part? Uh, falling. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely a good deal. Yeah. How you feel? You're live! Hallelujah! Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Freaking crazy. Fun? Yeah. Good? You gotta do that sometime. I will. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. 
Yo, just finished the jump. That was insane. Totally enjoyed every minute of it. That was, it was crazy. Like, door opens and you're just like, oh crap, we're going. We're going. That was great. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. If you hate it, be sure to give it a big thumbs down. Remember to follow your dreams, take risks, and live life to the full. Peace.